Welcome again to Milk Tea Friday and uh, we are continuing our ramen series although I have a special treat actually it's a treat to myself the super chashu of Yushuken is actually by far my favorite ramen in uh, the metro and uh, and when you actually get your hands on the super chashu ramen uh, I'm sure you would agree with me. Um, it is so good. It's very rich. It's uh, everything you want in a bowl of ramen and more. A lot more. So uh, here's a look at the Super Chashu Ramen. Here is the Super Chashu Ramen. Look at that beauty. Truly deserving its own solo episode. This is the broth, the rich broth of the Super Chashu. I mean, just look at that thing, listen. The reason why it is so rich is because it has been simmering for about 14 hours. Imagine that. The broth is so good that it just makes you want to keep going for more spoonfuls of that yummy broth. I'm so glad now that they offer to separate the uh, chili. Uh, I don't use a lot, I just put a couple just to add the heat and spiciness to the ramen and uh, that's just enough for me. Watch me gobble up some noodles right there because it's just so good. The noodles are thick enough to be lavished with the rich broth. They have a good bite, they have a good chew. And one of the things I love about their noodles is that they don't get soft even after a couple of minutes in the broth. Just take a look at those beautiful noodles and see how they shine. It is so good how it just absorbs the richness of the broth. It just makes it all so good. So this is basically what gives it the name Super Chash. I mean, look at that thing. It just covers the whole bowl. And look how tender, look how soft that thing is. My chopsticks are barely lifting it up and it falls apart. Wow, man, that is good. Now ideally, you would eat, of course, the chashu with your ramen, with your noodles, have a little bit of the broth, but I like to have it with a little bit of rice, the chahan that is offered in usual can. And uh, I usually like to order the chahan with uh, other people. With me today are my kids, so it's an excuse for me to order the cha so that I can eat it with my super chashu. Ah yes, the super chashu I'm quite satisfying once you reach the bottom of the bowl. So, you must be wondering what rating would I give the super chashu ramen of Yushoken? Now, out of 10, I would give the super chashu a 9.5. Yes. A 9.5 out of 10. So, what is, why only a 9.5? Why not go for 10 out of 10? Well, every time I eat the Super Chashu, there are no regrets. The only thing is that after I finish the bowl of uh, Super Chashu Ramen, I am so full uh, that I can barely walk. So, uh, that's more on me. More rather than the bowl of ramen itself, but uh, yeah, it's very heavy, very rich. But uh, yeah, I do enjoy it so much. I don't think you can actually make it any light, any a, a lighter version of that. If it's, I'm not sure if it's even possible. Thank you for watching another episode of Milky Friday. This is one for our ramen series. Don't worry, we'll be doing more episodes on ramen. Uh, and before I go, I just want to remind all of you, don't forget to give thanks.